I'd like to welcome everybody in this auditorium and also there are three other auditoriums in which we have people seated and also people at home joining us through the web. So I'd like to welcome everybody. This session is on osteoarthritis. Um, and just to start everybody with a common understanding of some of these words, arthritis just means inflammation. And we're going to be talking about inflammation or wear and tear changes uh, that are commonly associated um, with aging in the, in the um, hip, knee, shoulder, and ankle joints. Osteoarthritis is something that we don't quite understand in terms of biology. We know what to look for, we know what happens, what the progression is, but nobody's figured out what causes our osteoarthritis and why some patients have it and others don't and why it seems to progress more rapidly in some and um, not so in others. Um, the one thing we do know is, uh, unfortunately, there's no cure for it in the sense of eliminating it or reversing it. So it's a lifelong condition. Um, the best way we feel uh, to treat it is to educate patients about the process and empower them with things they can do on their own to minimize the limitation on their function, to minimize pain, and to allow them the best quality of life. Uh, for our department, um, the approach really is to use surgery as a last resort and to have a progressive step of starting with simple steps and then more involved treatments, all with the goal of relieving pain and improving your function while minimizing invasive treatments. So the goal for the session this evening is to show you all the alternatives that you could use to take care of this condition without having to resort to surgery. Um, we will talk a little bit about surgery and what it is, but the primary objective is to empower patients and allow them the options that they can use and exhaust before they consider invasive treatments. So Dr. Cantor today is one of our um, hip surgeons and uh, he does hip and knee arthroplasty. He'll be talking about hip osteoarthritis. Um, Dr. Nutting is going to be talking about shoulder osteoarthritis. Um, Dr. Hecht is going to be talking about um, foot and ankle osteoarthritis. And then we'll have Dr. Sengupta talk about back pain associated with osteoarthritis. Uh, and it usually presents as either sciatica or spinal stenosis or just um, curvature or deformity in the back. So with that layout, I'm going to turn things over to Dr. Cantor to start the session with uh, hip osteoarthritis. Thank you. 